One of the first things you'll notice in Studio One is that the Personas instruments and effects have these pretty cool thumbnails. Now you can show or hide these with this button right up here. If you just want to list, just turn those off or turn them back on. But you'll notice if I come down to any third party plugin, like something from Waves, for example, there is no thumbnails for these here. But if you want a thumbnail on your third party plugins, no problem, you can create it. So let's just find a plugin that we want to have a thumbnail of. We'll say this plugin right here, just drop it on a track, then come up here to where it says the name of the plugin, use this drop down, and just choose update plugin thumbnail, select that, and boom, right there. So that's all there is to it. Let's come up here to, let's say something from Isotope. I've already created one here for Nectar 3. Let's find, let's say Ozone 8, for example. Now, if you're seeing doubles here, so Ozone 8, Ozone 8, understand that Studio One uses VST2 and VST3 plugins. So this one here is the VST3 version. This one here is the VST2 version, all right? So let me go ahead and just grab Ozone, for example, throw this in here, and I'll close that window and I'll switch to my dynamics view. Now, whenever we create that thumbnail, watch this. Boom, you can see it's on the dynamics view. If it was on the equalizer view, and I came up here and updated the plugin thumbnail, guess what, it's going to change to the uh, EQ view. So this is actually sort of context sensitive to what you actually see on screen, that's gonna be your thumbnail. All right, so if you want thumbnails for your third party plugins, it's just that easy, load them up and go ahead and create your thumbnail. We'll do one more here, right up here, update plugin thumbnail, and there it is. Of course, always show or hide those thumbnails, this button right there.